Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I am becoming monkey and grudgingly trying Gorilla Tag. Every time I try to play this game for a video, I end up rage quitting. I'm really not joking. My friend Alex is joining me today and he has never played Gorilla Tag before, so prepare for a lot of confusion and probably toxic 11 year olds saying things that they really shouldn't be. Bro, were you here yesterday? Dude, were you here yesterday? <laughs> Were you okay, I'm glad my mic is not on because I'm laughing. No. I was literally not here yesterday. Does it look like I played this game often? I look like a flaming hot Cheeto. Oh, the controls on this are painful. Putting my hands down makes me move. I hate it. It's like I have to keep my hands up if I want to like just not move. Yeah. I don't want to be a monkey. Like I don't have a watch. I don't have like anything. I don't even have proper no fingers. I don't yes. even know what this is. I also don't like my point of view because it's not like a first person point of view. It's like a, like a third person. Oh, hello. Do a Do Okay, so we are in a infection lobby, whatever the hell no, that means. Worry. It's weird. It's like yes. red there, but then there it says casual. Now that my nerves are shot and I want to like <laughs> scream at every five-year-old in this room, now we can become monkeys. I have yes. become one with yes. nature. I have no filter. I have played this at yes. least on at least three other occasions and every single time yeah. it's frustrating for me. OMG, you are dripped out. Someone teach me how to play. I've never played actually like for realsies. My main question, because I have played this a couple times, but like how does the game work? So if you're like a lava monkey and you're like you're like lava, you got to attack people. But if you're not, you got to run away. Like he's lava over there. Then how is the winner determined, or is there no he's winner? Lava. Just goes on forever. No, I'm lava. <laughs> now you're lava, and now I'm lava. So now we want to have nothing to do with each other because we're just trying to get that person. I could see this being a little bit entertaining. Yeah, but then what if we're all lava? Then what happens? Who wins? And then the game restarts. Oh, okay. Did I hit somebody? Actually, I feel like someone else did that. There you go. Now you're a flaming hot Cheeto monkey too. There's a Western gorilla up there. Oh, I'm tired already. I feel like my arms are gonna be real sore tomorrow. Okay, that's enough of that. You're so good at this. I'm failing as a monkey. I have a candy cane. Oh my gosh, look at this. I think my wrist is broken. The reason that yeah. no one specifies is that the only information about this game that can be found on the internet is by 12 year olds giving the advice, which is why everything is ambiguous. This game is stressing <laughs> me out. I am not joking. I was gonna make a fun Gorilla Tag video about how fun this game is. And you know what I'm gonna do? This is gonna be a video about the truth about Gorilla Tag. As I eat yes. my tums. Correct. Yes. Because no, yes. I'm not a boomer. I just like, I wanna be able to go to somewhere and like not be screamed horrible things that should not be coming out of a 12 year old's mouth that's that's just like my expectations are low i just want to go somewhere and not be screamed yeah. at or told to f off i'm not even getting yeah. that so i don't know i need footage so maybe we're yeah. just gonna keep this anyways and your voice is garbled it's like everything that there's so much wrong with gorilla tag there's no <laughs> moderation the voices are garbled yeah. you can't control the music you go to the center and you have to like physically mute someone you can't just point at them like rec room and be like you know what talk to the hand you have to get to this ancient computer and like do things you can't like if i was like down in the canyon and you're like oh i didn't make through him. I have to go all the way back up the canyon somehow just to get to this computer that's running like Windows 95 just to be able to switch rooms to get back no, to you no, no, or I restart the this is like MS DOS. This is before <sighs> Well we're in our private room right now so we need to huddle together which yes. in itself Correct. is kind of strange that they make it so that like, you have to be like on top of your friend to like get to the, a new room. Yeah. As soon as I join the room the audio gets garbled. <laughs> Okay, well, it's at least the most wholesome lobby I've been in so far. You've heard of slippery walls, right? Okay, that wasn't wholesome. So we're in a public lobby, but as soon as we step out there, I don't know what's gonna happen, because... Exactly. That's what it seems like. Okay, me and my friend keep trying to join a lobby together, and we do the thing where, like, what you're doing, and then we end up in a private, or a, a lobby together. But as soon as we go down that corridor, or that corridor, we get separated. Do you know why that is? When you go to like play with a friend, how do you stay in the same lobby once you switch rooms? Ali, what island? You have to join a private lobby or something. So you can't just go into a public lobby with your friend? Oh, well, you can go into a private lobby like the code once you've been private for in time. Yeah. And then your friend will be in there with you as long as you both Okay, but then you can't just play with like other people then. Isn't that like defeat the whole purpose of the game? Okay, I met someone that was actually nice and I thanked them for being nice. They were actually trying to explain things, but because of the audio glitch, I wasn't fully understanding. I gave them the code so they might show up, but I don't know if that's how it works. I still, after listening to them, don't know how it works. <laughs> 
what this whole thing is. How long is, oh God, it's been like over an hour of us playing this thing and we haven't even really played. Can you make just a mm -hmm. Gorilla Tech video on being frustrated? Okay, well that's what this is gonna be, so exactly. sorry to the person who's editing this right now. <laughs> My knowledge is that we're in a private lobby and the second that we go yes. down there, if we have a public lobby code, we'll be separated. Which doesn't make sense, because what is the point of getting your friend to join you in a public lobby if you both go down there and then it's like totally separated again? Therapeutic <laughs> in angst for an hour and a half straight. Probably. Here's the first like, video yeah, of mine that, that you've ever had to edit. Can you imagine somebody who just doesn't know me seeing this and thinking I'm like this all the time? No, usually I play Rec Room. It's a lot more easygoing. Moving is tough. <laughs> Everything is tough. My entire life is tough. This game is the... Ugh. Okay. Aw, some dripped out monkeys come through drip and drip drip. Well, it wouldn't be a public lobby unless I heard that word. Can anyone explain to me why I'm so bad at being a gorilla? Hug wall. How do you do that? I'm so bad at this game. Oh, you can't, you can't just like hug the wall. Okay, cool. Oh, there's like a, a wind thing you can... It just mirrors it harder to walk in the snow biome. Oh, that's kind of cool. Gorilla Tag makes me seriously rage, and it's not just the controls, but the lack of menu settings. I must be too used to Rec Room, where you can very easily mute and block people and get around using your watch. Gorilla Tag infuriates me, and today proved to be no different. I heard things that if I'd said as a kid, my parents would have washed my mouth out with soap. I don't think I'll be back to this game, but we'll see how this video performs. Feel free to smash the like button anyways, and if you want to watch another video from my channel, check out this one here.